here and we've got a new baby. And she, uh, here, just hop over. You can, here, watch, we'll get there. We got Betty <laughs> and Cora out here gra grazing together. <laughs> hey, Cora, what are you doing? You hanging out with your buddy, Betty? You're eating the grass and Betty's eating the insects for you. It's teamwork right there. I like it. Ah, oh, you're so pretty. Oh, Cora here's all slicked off. Got that buckskin look going. Got your old frosty mane here. You pretty girl. Pretty girl. Yeah. All right. Well, you keep living the dream out here with old Betty. Hey, what do you got there? Well, we gotta go do some herd checks that I bring us some snacks. I guess we didn't eat lunch, huh? Got us some original jerky right here. So good. And I also got us snack sticks, original and honey barbecue for you. Thanks. You can get a pack of 10 of original or a pack of 10 of the honey barbecue or as much jerky as you want. All right, let's go see Big Joe first. We got cubes today too. So, pick up some hair. Let's see Big Joe and then we're gonna go see Dunbar. Munching on a honey barbecue stick. Protein snack on the go. Try it. We gonna have a new baby. Sorry, we are eating lunch, late lunch on the go. Just gave the Big Joe Herd some cubes. Pulled down here and we've got a new baby right back in here. That is what we call Noah's heifer. A friend of mine from Broken Arrow Bison a couple years ago was sneaky and uh, brought me one of his heifers. And he just got back into raising bison. And she, uh, okay. here, just hop over. You get your over the way. Get over there. I'm gonna get in here before it gets too dicey. They get kind of a little sketchy whenever they're eating cubes. Oh, she's starting to fill up a little bit now. Who is that? Texas. Mm. There's Bell. And um, about anyways, about there's everyone. Peaches. Hey, girl. Bell's but uh, Noah's heifer, we've uh, pretty much raised her since she was a yearling. Well, this is her very first calf ever and uh, first timer. So uh, it's exciting to be a part of that. Noah's a bison friend. He just started raising bison over again, and I think it's been about two years mm -hmm. later. Uh, she's got her very first calf, which is super exciting. A lot of first-timers this year um, are having calves, and there's uh, lots of red dogs right now. I think there's, is that seven or eight now? I don't know. There's quite a few of them now. So there's a size difference between this year's calf and last year's calf. So those are yearlings right there. These are uh, born in May. Got 
Got that young bull around her. And Eleanor is getting followed around by a young bull. Looks like she's doing good, making her way into the herd at the Ponderosa. <laughs> that bull's, I think he's just a yearling. He'll be two this, he'll be two next year. He's following her around like a lost puppy. Look at all the red dogs. There's one. Two, three, four, five. Oh, mm -hmm. Mom, where are you going? Mom, mom. Daddy. Big joke. So this is a, one of the uh, wild invasive blackberry bushes that we have growing out here. I want to show you something. Marissa and I came out here just in the right timing since we've had spotty rain here and there. We've, uh, what we did is we came out here and sprayed. We did a spot spray. We don't really we're trying to go with the regenerative ag side of things and not spray. So we didn't spray out here. We don't spray weeds or anything like that. But the only way to kill wild blackberries is to use a chemical called Remedy. And it is a direct spot spraying. We use a hand nozzle where Marissa and I came out here and did this. And you can see these blackberries are just ready to start turning colors they're uh they're gonna start turning into red and then purple and marissa's got a visitor here snuck up on us wants some more cubes but we sprayed you can see the difference in color probably problem sometimes yeah, he'll tear that bag open so we'll just go on the move we got peaches so you see the green color of that and then you see the dead color there there's a good way to look at it you see all the green there's lots of green there, and then there's the dead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we missed some. We'll have to come back and try it again on some of it, but we killed a big portion of it. And you can see it starting to die. Better get out of this pasture. We'll just keep following you. They are jazzed up today. damn cleaned off. Bear used T-Post. 
Most, mostly straight. Watching Marissa. Dunbar! I'm gonna step out here. Sorry. Wanna check the creek out. Flowing. It's a little bedrock going on here. Pretty cool. Pretty. They've been spending some time in here. I'm sure along the creek. How many? That's it. Oh, so there is a small group somewhere missing. Well, we gotta find Dunbar. Where do you need to go? I don't care, hon. Just drive? keep driving. He may hear us. Yeah, they're all. Golly, lumpy. she looks huge. They look sure good. She's not pregnant? No, it sure. shouldn't be. Eating a lot of grass. Eating the good stuff. Dunbar! There's Dunbar. 
bring the rest of the crew with him? Hey, buddy. All right, let's back up, stretch them out again, count them again, and uh, give them some cubes. You ready? Delmar, we got cubes for you, buddy. Yeah, keep going. You got it, hun. You're going to go over some stuff. It's fun. A little skeet, that's all. Something like that. Woo! Come on! This way? Yeah, it'll be easy for them to find, eat, them? find it on the ground. I can do that. You just keep trying to... But... Look at all these pretty flowers here. Well, it's back to my They're really pretty. Very pretty. Here, watch, we'll get their attention. Here, take this. Watch them bark. It's a lot easier to count them because they're all spread out in a single Five, form six, line. Hey guys, don't forget to check out our website. If you're interested in jerky, 100% bison, or our snack sticks as well, we got honey barbecue and original. If you're interested in those, we also have merchandise on there as well. You guys can check it all out, crosstimberspison.com. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon. Keep on bison ranching.